to my channel and if you're new welcome today I'm going to share with all of you some tips and tricks to achieve good quality videos I'm going to share my camera settings and what I do if you're new to this channel I suggest that you subscribe because I do a lot more camera based videos similar to this and if you're into knowing how to improve your video quality or your YouTube channel just in general definitely watch my other videos similar to this and subscribe to my channel also I suggest that you follow me on Instagram at anisha.adam because when I'm not here on YouTube uploading I'm over on Instagram and you get like the first updates on my Instagram and yeah I'm so excited to do this video because I'm really interested in helping you all so if you're interested stay tuned and let's get started okay the first thing that you're going to want to do is lighting 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 is a big thing for good quality videos okay the camera will work less to create that good lighting to show the image and I have a full video that I'm going to link in the description box for all of you to watch now the reason why it's so important because when you have so much lighting bright lighting there the camera does not have to use so much to make that bright lighting so the image can show okay so once you have all that lighting it's got five lights on me okay and that's how I achieve great quality because I have so much light on my skin and on my ear that the camera is not working that much it doesn't have to really work that much to show a bright image now if you're not using artificial light use natural lighting I don't really want to get into so much photography but learning in general terms learn your camera so go on YouTube there's thousands of tutorials on learning the specific camera you have so go on YouTube and learn about all the functions of your camera once you do that go watch videos on intro to photography and your camera and they're gonna show you how to use your camera and how to achieve great quality photos because legit if I actually went in depth on how to take such nice video quality like it would take a while that would be so many more different videos so I really want to keep it basic and minimal just to help you all but definitely go watch tutorials on um, a beginner's guide to their camera a beginner's guide to photography a beginner's guide to videography so that's what you want to do you want to do your research to learn how to get it and that's what you're doing right now in this video and that's a good thing that you're watching this video because that shows that you really do want to improve so either natural light or artificial light is what's going to make the quality of your videos much more better okay if you don't know what ISO aperture and shutter speed is then you need to go and learn those because that's really what's gonna make your video quality much more better and you're gonna see yourself dramatically improved and I'm gonna show you all what my ISO f aperture and f-stop is on how I create these videos okay so lens let's talk about the lens okay so your lens somewhat plays a part in how your video quality is as well that's like really on a low scale like lighting is way up here like you can't even see it like lens or is way down here so right now I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and this lens is actually making me have more light in this video because it opens up so wide that it allows so much light in and I'll link the video on all about this lens that I did because if you're interested this is the lens that gives blurry background it makes your video sharp because it lets in so much light so your lens is like okay so that's it so the first one is lighting the second one is lens and the third one is how you set up your ISO f-stop and aperture the next one is how to set up your camera setting okay so let me turn on this and this is how it looks okay I have to record my computer screen so you all are able to see my settings because my phone just died and I wanted to show my settings okay so this is my current settings right now Currently, my settings is that shutter speed is at 1 slash 60, and then the aperture is at f 2.0 and ISO at 100. I try not to touch the ISO, and I'll play around with the 160 and the f 2.0 now your camera settings play a big part the quality of your videos come out because you need to know your ISO you need to know your aperture and you need to know your f-stop and these three things are definitely gonna allow the quality of your videos to be so good so the first thing I do is set up my lighting so it's either I'm going to be using artificial lighting which is all these lights that I'm using right now or natural light so I think if I'm using natural light I'm gonna record during a day during the time of day where it's really bright outside and if I'm using artificial lights it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna set up a lot of light 
lights so I can have a lot of bright lighting on my face okay so that's the first thing you want to do so after when you do that you're gonna go over to your camera and this is where you play around with your settings the first thing I do is go to my ISO the ISO is the 100 the 200 400 800 the 1600 so you're gonna go to the ISO and you're gonna select 100 and you want to always keep your ISO lower than 400 if I have to go above 400 or go even above 200 for a YouTube video I won't film that day because it's gonna come out all grainy so I try to keep my ISO, so the 100, the 200 that you see on your camera here, the 400, below 400 or even at 200 or even below 200, okay? This is the ISO. Okay. Don't even pass 400. Don't even try to go near. That should be like the last resort ever. And then we're gonna go back. Try and do that, try and do that, try and do that. And I'm telling you, you're gonna see a big improvement. And then next, you're gonna wanna set your f-stop. And your f-stop is uh, the amount of light that's coming into your camera from the lens. So you're gonna go to the lowest setting on your lens. And my f-stop is 1.8. So I'm gonna go all the way to 1.8. Okay, now this is how it would look if it was that one. 1.8 that's the lowest and it's gotten even more blurrier the f 2.0 or the f 1.3 is what makes the background blurry so the lowest setting that you can have the background blurry at that's where you're going to get the most blurriness and then this is the aperture and this is making it darker so you want to bring it all the way to the front if you want you can keep it at two okay so that's that. So now I'm at ISO 100, f-stop 1.8. That's the widest my lens can open, and that means that's the, the most amount of light that's gonna come into my camera. So after doing that, I'm gonna go over to my the 1 slash 1000 or the 1 slash 2000, okay? And that's the shutter speed, okay? So you're gonna go over to that, and then you're gonna select 1 slash, and you're gonna go to the lowest number that you can go to, so one slash three. That's the lowest number I can go to on my camera for video recording. I could not put the camera all the way down to one slash 30, that's the lowest setting, because it would be too bright. So let me show you. So it'd be this bright. So I would have to turn it down at that one slash three zero or the F 2.0. Which one out of these two should I turn down for the settings to be darker i would say always go with the one slash whatever number anyways i'm so bright so i'm going to turn this down I had it at 160 i can even get away with 180 if i want it really dark okay i really like this look sometimes but sometimes it looks like i'm lacking lighting so i'm going this is shutter speed so as you can see shutter speed is making it brighter or darker okay you want to bring it all the way to the brightest so once I have all my settings on the lowest settings, I look at my camera and I'm like, okay, is it too bright or is it too dark? If it's too dark and you have your camera open that wide, you have all your settings on the lowest settings, then don't record at all because your video is going to be dark. You're going to want to either add in more light or choose another day to record. Okay, but majority of the time when your camera is on such a low number, it's very bright. And then, which is a really good thing, you're just, all you're going to want to do is dial back. So you're going to keep your ISO at 100 and dial back on either the aperture, so the f1.1, or you're going to dial back on the shutter speed and go to 1 slash 50 or 1 slash 40. It's all about playing around with. Okay, that's what it really is. You want to play around with your settings. You always want to put your settings on the lowest settings first, and then you, if it's too bright on your skin, bright on the, the video, you just want to dial back to a number that's still low, but still dark enough that you're able to make sense of the whole entire video. So that's what I really do to have my videos looking good. So 160 has been the highest number that I've been in in a while. It's usually at 130, and then... Is at 100 and 2.2 looks fine yeah so that's my settings so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you all liked it it was, it was a mouthful i definitely did like enjoy doing this video so if you did find it helpful make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel <laughs> yeah that's it for today's video and i'll see you all in my next one Au revoir. bye but here's some more videos if you want to watch